Hey, what's going on, people? Matthew with Living Differently here, and today I'm going to talk to you about paratransit transportation. So today I want to talk to you about the private transportation for handicapped services because I feel like it'd be a good thing to talk about and how I feel about it and where we go from here. First off, I am really freaking grateful for the people who actually set this up. Government agencies, people who lobbied about it and protested about this with ADA. I mean, the whole thing. I didn't realize uh, the importance and significance as to how I would actually need it, um, you know, versus when I was normal. So it'd be, it's a really good eye opener as to how it would benefit me and other people who are in need. <laughs> So I found this paratransit service, um, you know, just by going about, I never really thought about it. Uh, I was actually at the time with my wife, didn't need it because, well, we're together and she drove me everywhere and I was able to get around town just by me pushing around. So I didn't feel the need to, but now here I am, uh, you know, divorced and single and now I have to take care of myself and how am I supposed to really take care of myself? Gotta start somewhere. So... I called them up and I it took me a bit maybe about you know three months uh, three weeks to a month in order for me to get somewhere and I was uh, handed a letter of eligibility because I actually had a doctor sign off on my uh, eligibility and they gave me a letter telling me what I needed to bring and tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and get picked up by a van to pick me up to get eligible and to test of my uh, assessment, my evaluation about how I plan to go about the whole transportation. And get this, it's only three US dollars for one trip anywhere in the Dallas County uh, area. Dude, think about that. I don't have to worry about, um, you know, the bus awaiting. I don't have to worry about the rain. I can actually get to and from medical appointments with the doctors. It, I can go out and recreationally, I could go out on dates now. I mean, think about that. I mean, I don't think a public transport would actually be a huge benefactor here, <laughs> considering that a lot of people who are actually are dating or whatnot usually have private modes of transportation. So it's a, it's a really big thing for me to actually have this. And I encourage anybody who has, uh, you know, recently injured or who recently got into, you know, a wheelchair or something like that. Hey, it's good to have. And then also for the uh, able-bodied people, I got to tell you, uh, this is something that is a blessing. Um, kind of digging it. <laughs> all of a sudden, you, being, uh, you have a medical condition and it ends up, you know, making you handicapped. And all of a sudden, the world just starts opening doors for you, like private transportation. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so tomorrow I'm gonna be picked up and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a follow up uh, continuation so that I let you know on how I feel about it and how I'm gonna have a wear a chest cam, let you guys know on um, what it's like and uh, we'll go from there, all right? All right. Well, people, I'm right now waiting for the van to pick me up so that I could be qualified even more and uh, approved for the paratransit service. I didn't really know on how detailed and how in-depth this service is and approved for, but at this point, I don't care. I mean, I know I'm qualified for it and I know I'm pretty excited about it considering that I have now a limo, <laughs> a short limo and a chauffeur. <laughs> people actually picking me up and dropping me off for a uh, you know small little bit of money going anywhere now I can actually finally go on a date man I haven't dated in wow 13 14 years man it's been a long time um I don't know what else to say besides just let's get to it man let's let's go ahead and get on that van let's uh see someone uh you know see something happen for the very first time i haven't been on a van like this since ever and i'm pretty happy to share with you guys so let's go ahead and without further ado get onto that van all right my limo and my chauffeur go on
This is the worst driveway ever. Not met ADA. This is not ADA. All right. How's it going? All right. Man. This is nice. Okay. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? It's my first time after uh, riding oh, in a van. Actually, uh, you can like pull up here. Okay. That way I can uh, see the this man here. That's good. Okay. Riff it different upon you. This out pretty nice. Hey, you're on YouTube. <laughs> <sighs> Finally made it. Look at that nice looking button right there. Straight. Oh! <laughs> Here we go, straight. It should be a dish right there, too. Okay. All right. I'm finally here at the building. I'm waiting on just a whole bunch of people in line that are ahead of me. I'm going to be speaking to a lady who's going to assess me and evaluate me for transportation. I'm going to end up going on the train as what it was written in the letter and we'll just go ahead and keep you posted. Um, you know, let's see what happens next. Well people, guess what? I just got done with an assessment interview. Um, it really wasn't too long. It was a little uh, mundane for the person who was interviewing me, but I don't care because, well, it's not his problem, it's my problem, and I'm the one seeking out services, so deal with the guy. And um, it really wasn't that hard. All I had to do really was just answer some questions, go down to a uh, physical assessment, which was just pushing down the hallway, and then I went down to the basement and I went to their mock little area and if I could be able to fit in the wheelchair ramps and get their vans, um, and that's pretty much it. I feel good about that. I feel really good about that. And then, hey, we're good oh, hi, it's okay. Hi. I'm a friendly person. And then also I have gotten a uh, piece of paper that I can read out to you guys, it was really cool. Um, so it's a mobility management services, quick reference sheet, uh, eligibility notification. I have about seven to 10 days from the date of assessment for uh, me to be approved. So by next week, I should actually be hearing about something. And then also ride cost, three dollars for a trip one way, so I can actually like you know go on a date for like six bucks on a trip anywhere. It's like awesome. And then also my doctor appointments, um, just anywhere for like eating or something like that. Uh, let's see, uh, operational hours, live, eight a.m. to five p.m. Monday through Friday. Live scheduling hours, I can call them up and I can pretty much use their service Monday through Saturday, 5 a.m. to uh, 12 a.m. And on Sunday, it's 7 a.m. to 12 a.m. It's like, oh my gosh, people, this is awesome. I can't believe it. Sometimes, people, it pays to be handicapped. Don't just say it, it's just so true. Uh, let's see, uh, trip canceling, everything like that. It's really easy, guys. It's really easy to get something like that. Um, to come on down and you know do all of this. It wasn't easy to go through this process, 
but it was easy for me to you know, get out of the house a little bit. And I'm just trying to share this with you. Um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get back on the uh, van and then we'll just take it in from there, all right? Are you waiting for everything? Yep. Oh, okay. Is this my limousine? It's my limousine, right? Oh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. None. Don't ask if I need help. Oh, are you sure? Okay. Be careful you're gonna drop this. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Well, people, I'm back home. And as you can see, this whole time, I was pretty excited and happy to know that, uh, you know, there's services out there for people like me and you. And I gotta tell you, <laughs> I'm pretty excited to use the paratransit service. Hey! So, with that said, guys, thank you for watching on this uh, wonderful journey in this video of mine. Please, if you haven't uh, already subscribed, please do so. Like and subscribe to tell your friends about me and just I don't know let's go ahead and grow together like I said and also if you're new to this channel uh, just please tell your friends about me we're gonna go ahead and just have some exciting things happen in the uh, near future and yeah with all that said take it easy later